Spider-tastic adventures in this omnibus. Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we are looking at The Amazing Spider-Man by J. Michael I'm not even going to try and say his second name S S I can't do it But you know who I mean um, Talented guy who read um, a big chunk of The Amazing Spider-Man in the early 2000s Now I'm more familiar with the second volume which is due out next year So I'm not I know little bits of this book, but not that much. I know more about the second book. So, very, very nice cover. Um, I believe there was a second cover that was meant to come out, which didn't come out. There is the side. Very nice. Volume 1. And here is the back. Of course, Babylon 5. Why didn't I figure that out? Amazing Babylon 5. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. One of the best sci-fi series out there. Can't believe I didn't clock on that. And here are all the covers. Some are very, very dark covers by the looks of it. So there are 44 issues in this omnibus. And we have issues 30, Spider-Man 30 to 58. And then it went back to normal business as usual, 500 to 514. Now, I think this was around a time that I was probably in my late teens that I didn't really, I can't stop reading Spider-Man, etc. I didn't actually start reading um, Spider-Man again until the, the story which most people like, it, or, sorry, they don't like, they hate, which is uh, since past for me. I didn't really know who Gwen was. I never read those early stories at this point. So when I read them, I wasn't so bothered about her being this perfect, innocent, first love of Spider-Man's life, betraying him. Um, but now that I've read that, it, it irritates me as well. It's one of those stories that we like to wish never happened. Here is a little synthesis. And a bit about the creators, the artists. It's very nice. I do like the little web there. Underneath we have this beautiful cover of Spider-Man facing off against his foes. We've got Juggy in there. That's pretty cool. Doctor Doom, Hobgoblin, Chameleon. Pretty much you've got him facing everything. You've even got Maul on it now. Who is probably... One of my favorites. I love the other storyline, which um, is obviously in volume two of this. Okay, so inside the book, we have the very talented team that make this happen. Very talented people there. And then it's straight in with issue 30. So I'm just going to kind of flick through it. I have no, I know who, I can't even say his name, it, oh, it's not going to come, uh, yeah, Ikasil, oh man, I'm sorry, this is a terrible review, I'm just going to flick through, um, I guess this is the first time that he faces Morlon, I believe he wins this, Round and then he comes back in the, the second omnibus, which is when he wins, and then Spider Man embraces the other, which is a continuous um, kind of in the background, especially with um, his brother Kane, the Scarlet Spider. He probably embraced the other more than Peter Parker did. So uh, I can't remember if him and Mary Jane are together at this point. Just before the storyline, I remember she went, she disappeared for a bit. Uh, May came back to us after they killed her off in issue 400. So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, that's a nice artwork there. 
I'm, I'm not familiar with what and, and that's the exciting thing I have no idea what I'm looking at which is great because when I read this I, I do enjoy when I don't know something please don't message me spoiling it or at least give me 30 days <laughs> to read it so because I didn't read it before and I have no idea what's going on I was super excited to get this book for the sheer fact that, that it is meant to be awesome and the fact that I've read pretty much most stuff I pretty much read volume 2 so it's nice to get a feel for what happened before some really beautiful artwork on hey that's uh, it's familiar <laughs> oh wait a minute it's re showing you some of the times when the times were tough That's pretty cool. The other, maybe? Am I wrong? Ezekiel. Yeah, we got it. At least I think I got it. I'm just talking rubbish now. Yeah, it's very cool. I'm getting even more excited just looking at this. Oh, yeah, then we got the scary bit. Sins past. And how Norman Osborn. Man, it's just juice Gwen Stacy, and it wasn't really about Spider Man, but he killed her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, um, I think J. J. Michael, um, and same with Brand New Day. I don't think he really wanted to write that story, but he was, um, contracted to. So I don't know whether this was him. It's certainly interesting, a uh, different kind of, um, take on the perfect Gwen's life maybe we just didn't know that she was um, naughty and let's be honest we all do silly things when we're that age so maybe maybe it did happen maybe it didn't maybe we all like to pretend it didn't like brand new day that bug there I stopped reading spider-man after brand new day I've, I've read it since in the last couple of years but it really did Pee the hell out of me. Yeah. Worst. Worst thing. Taking all that beautiful history. Even though it was still kind of there. Just in a different way. It really did just bug me. So that is the cover on the front. That is the beautiful double cover. And there's just some background stuff. Oh my goodness. Do you know what? One thing I will say. Amazon. I, I'm 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 actually sending this book back. Uh, Amazon. I was very disappointed in the the state that this book arrived. No shrink wrap. It was meant to be new. No protection. And um, I'm not used to such a terrible service from them, but um, they delivered this book in, in a terrible kind of fashion. So um, that's just my little bit of moaning today. So there's lots of little extras in there, which is kind of nice. Oh, so I can get my light in there. So this sort of stuff. And, w and when you spend the amount of money that I've spent on this book, you expect it to be perfect. And if it gets damaged after that, that is down to you. But this, how this has arrived, it's just, it's just pure bad show from Amazon. I mean, even the book, I mean, you can, you can see. Um, and I don't, I'm sorry if this has turned into a moan fest. You can see... It's very, it's weak, it's flimsy, like somebody's had it before and they've just, they would just set it as new. It's very disappointing. And because I don't have any other Spider-Man omnibuses anymore, here it is next to Wolverine, which is slightly smaller. Just so you can get a kind of thought on how big it is. And I think it is a big, big omnibus. So, if you're a hardcore fan or just um, just interested in getting Spider-Man, I think this is a good place just to have a little read. It delivers um, a story from beginning, and by the time you get Omnibus 2, you, you kind of finish what he started. 
in terms of our whole kind of full circle and then you want to go into the next phase or the phase before but um some some really good tales jay i believe is very talented i love his babylon 5 stuff so i expect him to deliver something pretty special here i'm looking forward to reading it so thank you for watching like comment subscribe follow me on facebook my page is smurd p follow me on twitter at smurd p and embrace the geekiness goodbye